an interesting program. It lasted a long time. Oh, no. So the first big program I worked on, as a matter of fact. The reason we were even involved is because we were a lead lab on sauna buoys, mm -hmm. which were uh, submarine uh, locator things that they dropped in the ocean. So somebody got the bright idea, well, if, if a sauna buoy works in the ocean, why wouldn't it work on land? So we sort of made some land sauna buoys. And the way these things work is they were listening devices, acoustic listening devices, or some of them were seismic listening devices too. Okay. In other words, they could, they could uh, feel uh, the seismic motions in the ground. Like if somebody was walking along, they could pick that up. Okay. If there was a truck coming along, they could pick that up. And these things were dropped from um, normally high-speed airplanes, and they, they, uh, they dropped strings of these things across known infiltration routes. Okay. Like uh, from uh, one of the big infiltration routes was from Cambodia to to South Vietnam, that was uh, in the Parrot's Beak area. That was a big area. And it was all foot traffic there. And, and the real, the real uh, interesting part of this is how well these sensors worked. These sensors were designed to uh, be dropped from high-speed airplanes. They had to be, the, the spec was, they had to be dropped uh, as, at a minimum of 500 feet and a maximum speed of 550 knots, which is pretty fast. That's almost supersonic. Yeah. And they had, a, in that short of time, be able to turn over and, and either implant in the ground, that was one way they had, we had points on them and they would just stick in the mud or something if it was a field area. Or if it was, um, if it was forest, we had other ones that uh, hung up in the, in the uh, trees. Okay. The, the parachutes spun around and we had weights on big long strings and they went and they hung up in the trees. Oh, wow. And, and that was all developed right at Warminster, all those, yes. all those uh, re retardation systems. The, the systems that, that uh, stuck them in the ground, we had, a, we had a spec that we had to be able to, um, to work if, we, if they were dropped in mud, like on a river edge or something like that, or they had to work if you dropped them in something hard like, uh, like Tonopah, Nevada, you know, the hard yeah. baked on. So we had a telescoping nose on these things that made them longer if it was really hard or really soft, and we had a little thing that a metal thing that bent out to slow them down. Then we had a, a small front of the nose that would stick in the ground if it was really hard. So it was a lot of innovation yeah. and there were a lot of patents. While I was in Vietnam, I, I, I did a lot of my, my uh, time there at a, uh, the bases where they, where they had these things going were called duffel bag base. That was what the program was called in the field. They were all run by the Navy. and. Um, you could get uh, at night. You would you would man all these sensors, and you could see people coming down the trails. I mean, you you would see them. You would see the sensors going off, and you knew exactly where they were. Oh my gosh! The big problem with the program was we couldn't do anything about it because we didn't have GPS in those days. Oh. So the pilots that wanted to bomb these people or shoot them, they were up in the air, and it was all black jungle, and all they had was uh, was inertial navigation and and. Uh, Mag and uh, compasses and stuff, and they had no idea within a, a couple of kilometers where they were. We would sometimes we call on artillery, and they would miss sometimes by a whole kilometer. Oh wow! So we would scare the people. <laughs> That's <laughs> we about really it. We didn't stop the infiltration. So if we would have had GPS like we have today, oh yeah, it would have been a really successful program. But it was never that successful because we didn't have. The only way we could really do something about it is if we sent in a squad of Marines or a squad of Special Forces or something. But that was a quite a commitment. They didn't want to do that just for a few infiltrators. Right.